when I was in college, my brother suggested I apply for an internship at The Tonight Show. I was visiting him in LA and I got really annoyed with him. I got really mad because it was such a big idea and I felt like there's no way I could get this. And the idea that he would even give me hope to suggest this was infuriating. And I'm like, I gotta go, I can't talk to you, I gotta go. And it wasn't that he said something wrong, it was that I didn't feel like I was enough because I was in a state of self-rejection. Self-rejection is when you reject yourself before giving anyone else an opportunity to reject you. And a lot of you do this. I know I still do this. Sometimes it's hard for me to say what I think and express how I feel. Or sometimes I think I'm not enough. Or I look at other people having these experiences and wonder why not me. And it makes me feel bad. But then I realize I am enough and you are enough and we are all enough. And so much of our life is practicing taking risks so that we can learn and grow. But if you're in a state of self-rejection and you constantly tell yourself you aren't enough, you can't talk to that person you find attractive. You won't talk to that professor or that person in that job or position of influence because you're too afraid they're going to see that you're not enough. But I just want to remind you, you are enough. And I want to encourage you to stop the self-rejection. Stop the self-rejection. The world will give you enough of it. You don't need to give it to yourself. Oh, and I got the internship.